I got a request from uh, Instagram for a review between two very, very popular Louis Vuitton crossbodies. And that's a Pochette Medis and an Alma BB. So the question was, which of them is more comfortable? Which was my preference? And which one I would recommend for you if you are looking for a small crossbody? So let's take a look and compare these two bags together thoroughly. Let's start with an Alma BB. First of all, it's a crossbody, a nice crossbody, and uh, it is sold with a very nice clochette and lock and keys. Crossbody strap, of course, these are the accessories for Alma BB. So as a crossbody, it's quite comfortable, it's stylish, it comes in a range of colors and range of materials. You can pick whatever you like. There are Verney, Epi, Monogram, Damier, Ben, and a, a lot of limited edition versions too. Uh, so it's a very popular bag. It's very recognizable, and if you carry it with you, everybody understands that's a bag from Louis Vuitton. Now, let's discuss the disadvantages. I don't really love the idea of the zipper coming from one end of the bag to another end of the bag. It's not quite comfortable. It's not the comfortable opening for me. Probably it's comfortable for you, and uh, I'm okay with that. But for me, doing the opening the whole zipper every time I open my bag is not a something I, I love. Now, there's more. The opening of the bag of the Alma, I have to confess you guys, I hate it. I really hate it because what, whatever you choose to uh, store in your bag, the opening is like this. And, and that's it. I mean, you either destroy the shape of the bag by trying to extend it uh, from one side to another, or you just scratch uh, all the time your wallet, your belongings, all the time, and your hand, by the way, all the time when you are trying to get something out of the bag. Now, let's take an example. I always carry my phone and I always carry my zippy wallet. That's an imprung zippy wallet, so that's the type of leather which can be scratched. And like doing the, this movement every time I have to get my wallet out is not really comfortable and it does scratches the wallet. I mean, if you have a mono or damier wallet, that's fine and it's not an issue for you, but I'm a fan of a, an imprung I'm a fan of imprint leather, so that's a, an issue for me. I don't know, it's, it's not really my bag. Although it's beautiful and uh, I'm absolutely in love with the version of the Alma uh, with the monogram hands and a uh, monogram strap. Uh, they come in uh, fuchsia and red colors and they're amazingly beautiful, but every time I look at this bag, I understand that I would hate opening it every time. Easy to carry? Yeah, the, the opening is my problem. Otherwise, the bag is really nice and it comes with the accessories Pochette Metis doesn't come with. It's actually great. Now let's take a look at my favorite Pochette Metis made from Amprunt leather. And I have to tell you, this bag is really popular and there is a reason behind it, guys because this bag is super nice and super comfortable. Apart from um, the fact that it's an iconic model for Louis Vuitton, an iconic style, and everybody wants a pochette medis, it's easily recognizable, almost like Alma. With the pochette medis, you know that it has been around for only several years, 
and it's already an icon which is a great Louis Vuitton achievement I think it's the greatest from 2007 when when was the Neverfull introduced I think it was 2007 but you can correct me if I'm wrong just uh, leave a comment below so since Neverfull it has been the most big a uh, big release from Louis Vuitton. So, in terms of comfort, by the way, the length of the strap is almost similar with these two bags. It's almost identical, but the pochette medi strap can be adjusted here and it's very comfortable because you can adjust it to your uh, size and your height. Now, let's move on. I don't know why, but I really love this handle. It's not very functional. I don't use it a lot. Whenever I get out of my car and uh, I have to take the bag from my ba back seat, uh, I usually use this handle. And uh, well, it's, it looks really comfortable in the hand. Next thing I love about this bag is the zip pocket on the back. And I usually use it for some loyalty cards or something that I will be using in the next two hours, maybe like a ticket from a parking lot um, and all this stuff, uh, maybe a passport when I'm going abroad and uh, I need to carry the uh, boarding pass and the passport. I usually put them here just to avoid the uh, opening uh, of the whole bag. Moving next. This bag has space for everything I need. I won't show you everything that's in my bag because <laughs> it's a mess. It's a total mess. I usually need space for the phone and there's a smaller front pocket here. Well, like not a pocket, it's a compartment actually. And a zippy wallet which fits here perfectly. I usually also um, carry a I usually also carry a notebook and it's small so it's just perfectly bought for uh, this bag and uh, I really love the fact that uh, it has two compartments one uh, is larger and another one is a little bit smaller but it's just perfect for uh, devices and uh, maybe some kind of a document like this and next pocket here which is wide uh, actually the the width of the bag and uh, I also use it for documents but probably for documents that I'm not planning to use in the next uh, few hours it fits uh, the documents really really good now the only thing I don't like about this bag and about pochette medis is the fact that uh, whenever it's stuffed you can easily close it and lo it looks very nice, right? But whenever it's not stuffed, under stuffed probably, let's take out everything. Whenever it's not stuffed, there is a little problem. It's not a big issue. I mean, I can easily live with that and I usually stuff it with a with wallets, devices, and notebooks. But whenever it's not stuffed, you can find it quite difficult to, um, you know, to close this uh, clasp. Everything else about this bag is adorable. You will love it. And uh, actually there is uh, one more Thing that we want to compare about these bags and that's of course the price. I think you can buy an Alma in mono um, for $1,250 probably in mono. Vernie is um, more expensive but well actually I think the Vernie is almost the same price as the Medis. The medis and monogram which is impossible to get but uh, but still there is no huge difference about this price on these bags and uh, considering the resale value and considering the my impression from both of these bags I would highly recommend you to get an pochette medis first reason you will always resell it right second reason 
I love it more. <laughs> The opening is more comfortable for me and uh, well, I already told you everything that uh, I love about this bag. And the third reason, it's iconic. Everybody knows that uh, it's a pochette medis and every Louis Vuitton fan you will meet on the streets of your city, your town, your place of living will understand that that's a bag from Louis Vuitton and it's very expensive but uh, that's not important you will love it and you will enjoy this bag so much that uh, I highly recommend you to get it all right guys I hope this video was useful for you to make a choice between the Alma BB and Pochette Medis from Louis Vuitton now, if this video was useful and if you liked it, just uh, like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell not to miss our new episodes. And that was it. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.